this work actually is a joint work with Giovanni Nekmia. And um, so to start, I'd like to briefly introduce what is Federated Learning. So Federated Learning actually enables a large amount of um, mobiles, for example, and uh, IoT devices or sensors to co collect, uh, cooperatively to learn without transferring their data. So the data is always kept locally on the mobiles on the sensors. And initially, the, the initial goal of Federated Learning is that uh, these mobiles try to learn a global model that minimize the weighted sum of the empirical loss of each client. So here, the weight, the weight here is I use the PC as the patient, um, means the weight for the client C, and it depends, of course, on the uh, size of the local data. So as the data is kept locally on each client, so a really natural question to ask is, can federated learning really protect the client's privacy? And even against a very like weak adversary who we call it is honest but curious. So this adversary, he just eavesdrops the channels between the server and the client, and he does not interfere with the training. So this is a very weak assumption on the adversary. And the recent work shows that actually, um, um, the answer for this question is negative. For example, the adversary can achieve uh, to reconstruct the private data samples to a certain level of recognizable, uh, recognizable level here. And by inverting the gradients that is dropped by the adversary. And moreover, if we have more assumptions on the adversary, for example, we assume the adversary have some pre-knowledge on the data set. So the adversary can even achieve some um, well enough for performance on the membership inference attack that the adversary can infer if a specific data instance is used for training on the machine learning model. Or he can also perform the perfect inference attack, which means that the adversary can infer during the training uh, at a specific moment if a property of this instance has appeared or disappeared. In our work today, um, we will introduce another kind of attack, which might motivate more uh, the study of the privacy preserving alg algorithms in federated learning. So the attack, the attack we in initialize for federated learning is uh, the local model reconstruction attack. So the goal of this attack is simple, is that the adversary tries to reconstruct the model that a client would have trained using only its own local data set. So to allow the adversary to have this local model is very dangerous because the local model overfits more the client's data and it can review the client's behavior more easily. Moreover, if we allow the adversary to have this model, it can enhance or enable other kinds of attacks. For example, the attribute inference attack and the model inversion attack, even the managed inference attack without pre knowledge on the client's data set. So here to show um, how actually how dangerous that to have this local model. So I give a small example here. Suppose we have a federated learning scenario with only two clients and uh, the clients, uh, these two mobiles, they have the data set uh, consists of uh, the X and Y, where the X, you can see it as the feature, and the Y, you can see it as the observation. So here we know a very simple model, which is linear, that giving X to predict Y. And uh, so under this uh, data distribution, so if we run the federated learning algorithm, the global model that we know can be presented by this orange uh, line here. And, and actually, we can see the local model of the client one and the local model of the client two are not as close as the global model. So there is a difference between the local model one and the difference between a local model one and a global model. And also the difference between the local model two and the global model. And now suppose that the X is kind of information that adversary can have access to. So X is kind of a feature that is public to everyone. 
However, why is information that the client would not like uh, the adversary to know, know about it? So allowing the adversary to have a so-called optimal model that uh, the adversary can easily inform the private information of uh, information of why actually we think we, we can decode this local model. Uh, so before I uh, enter into the details that how to, we can exactly perform the model, uh, perform this local model uh, reconstruction that I'd like to emphasize more on uh, the assumptions we made uh, on the honest but curious adversary. As I mentioned before, this honest but curious adversary, uh, he does not interfere with the training process and he knows the structure of the trained model the loose function as well as the training algorithm. So we kind of have a white box access to this information. And this are uh, the common assumptions considered in other papers for uh, the other attack as well. And uh, moreover, I want to emphasize as well, um, the adversary would target what kind of veteran learning framework. So this veteran learning framework consists of three steps. So the first step uh, during the algorithm spawning, so the server would select the clients and broadcast the global model to the clients. And then the chosen clients would, re, uh, would calculate, uh, update its own local model based on its own local data set. And it would return the updated local model. And then the server would aggregate the received uh, client's model. So this is kind of like the common steps uh, during each iteration um, of this, of the algorithm running in the learning framework. And here, we, um, we do not target the veteran learning framework where the secure aggregation protocol is applied. So a secure aggregation protocol would prevent our attack because the identity information of the client is lost. However, secure aggregation protocol, it would um, require extra uh, computational load. So uh, actually the transactional uh, algorithm for federal learning and the first one, uh, the FET averaging um, enter into this federal learning framework. So they each and each iteration, the server, it will uniformly select a subset of the clients and then the chosen clients will run the domestic gradient descent for multiple local A box and return the local models. And in the end, the server will do uh, the weighted average over all the models received. And now and I will go into the details how to perform uh, the local model reconstruction, uh, reconstruction attack by if dropping such uh, a federated learning framework. Our results first show a possible case that to reconstruct the Z local model when trained through the Fed averaging algorithms. More precisely, we show that at least one client's local model can be reconstructed. And uh, we also show that our attack solution is optimal in terms of the number of runs that adversary uh, needs to eat drop it. So the second step, we showed a heuristic that allows the adversary to attack on more general machine learning problems and uh, target any kind of the algorithms entered to this target veteran learning framework. So the possible case we showed is the case where uh, the clients train a linear least square regression problem through the fat averaging algorithms with full batch size. And we suppose that uh, we have a data has a uh, D features, D features. And our result shows that once the client has communicated with the server for the order of D time, the adversary can recover the client's local optimal model in the order of D cube operations. So here he can re recover the exact client's local model. And the proof is done by the observation that 
the broadcasted global model, the difference between the broadcasted uh, uh, global model and the return local model uh, is anemia with respect um, to the broadcasted global model. And so we have like the un unknown metrics W and unknown vector V. So after the adversary have connected enough information, he can actually analytical calcul analytically calculate this matrix W and V. And once we have these two uh, variables that we can analytically calculate the optimal um, local model of plan C. And there's one remark to show here that uh, actually to decode the exact local model, um, the client does not need to know the hyperparameters of the fat error region algorithm, which means that he does not need to know like the running rate and the number of the local A box uh, set in this algorithm. And on the other hand, I'd like to mention also, uh, all those we proved analytically that we can decode uh, this local optimal model, but in the real implementation due to the numerical errors, so it's quite hard to get exact local optimal model when uh, this matrix W is field condition. And then you may come to a question like, um, is it possible in factory learning that no plan needs to communicate with the server for the order of three times? Uh, of course, if at the beginning of the training, that if every client has already get the optimal global model as the initial model, that no communication is needed. However, we can build another extreme case to show that at least one client needs to communicate with the server uh, for the order of D time. So in another way of saying, applying the attacking uh, algorithm solution proposed before, that at least one client's local model can be reconstructed. So the extreme case we showed here is uh, a simple case where it's to a federated learning scenario with two clients. And we build the uh, clients one and clients two's local loss function in a way, uh, in an explicit way to ensure first the global model, the global optimum model uh, contains only non-zeros. And uh, the way we prove uh, the observation is that uh, we want to show that how many iterations that we need uh, in order to make the global model to convert to the optimal one. Uh, if we started the global model, the initial global model is a vector of all zeros. So we can see that and if we have the client one and client two using the such um, a loss function. So the loss function of client one will enable the returned model of client one uh, follows the pattern that we only change one zero to non-zero. And the loss function of client two will kind of enable the client's two returned model keep the same pattern on zeros and non-zeros as the broadcasted global model. So in this case, that in order to make the final global model, the global model to converge to the optimal one that contains only non-zeros, we can show that we need, in, in, in this case of dimension four, we need at least four iterations. So this is kind of a specific way that specific case we build to show that at least one client needs to communicate with the server to make sure the global optimal model converge. And then you might come to a question like, um, is it our attack method, uh, it's efficient? Is it, it is there exist other attack method that do not need to hear in the order of D times? And the answer is negative. And we show that the adversary must default at least the order of D times in order to decode the local model. In another way of saying that our attack is optimal in terms of the number of runs it drops. 
So the way we prove it is uh, that we build two scenarios, two scenarios of two primes. So one scenario on the left and one scenario on the right. And uh, so the client one in scenario one um, has the different uh, loss function, local loss function, um, compared with the client one in the scenario two. So in this case, uh, of course, the optimal local the, uh, the optimal local model of client one in scenario one is different from the optimal local model um, in scenario two. However, we showed in this scenarios from interaction zero to interaction D minus two that adversary would observe the same message between the channel uh, of on the channel between the server and the client one in scenario one and in scenario two. And the adversary mass listen for the interaction D minus one have the different observation in order to decode the different local model. So we prove in the way that in, in this way that the adversary mass is short the order of D times. So till now I have presented a possible case uh, a specific possible case for the adversary to reconstruct the exact local model when training by this fat algorithm algorithm. And now I'd like to introduce a heuristic that allows the adversary to attack on more general machine learning problems and more general algorithm more type more algorithms adapted uh, for factor fitting learning. And so this heuristic uh, consists of three steps. So, uh, and the first step, the adversary connects the information uh, on the channel between the server and the target client C. And uh, the message contains uh, the global model, the bro uh, theta, the global broadcasting model, and the difference between the global broadcasting model and the returned local model. After connecting to all this information, the adversary would use this data set to build a mapping function to map the theta, uh, build a mapping function with the parameters that we had here to map the theta with the delta theta. After he built this mapping function, so he would estimate the local model by minimizing this map, uh, the long square of this mapping function. Of course, if we put the local optimal model uh, in theta here, that what we would expect the difference between the global and the uh, local return model here should be zero. So this is the way the, uh, that the adversary finally can get an estimate on the local optimal model of the client C. So this performance, uh, the performance of this attack will depend on, of course, how well this mapping function mimics the local update rules. And of course, it will depend also on how close the estimated data C star is to the true minimizer. It's like, it will depend, of course, on the complexity of this function. So we have conducted some experiments on, on, on these heuristics to show the performance of our attack. So the first data set we consider is the leaf synthetic data set. This quite is the one of like the basic data set baseline for federated learning. And uh, so this data set is a logistic regression problem. And we split the data set, this data set in the non IID way among five clients that each client has a different number of samples. And we run the federated, uh, federated averaging algorithm with fudge size, size 256. And to show the performance of our local reconstruction attack, that we use the metric, uh, which is the average train local accuracy over 10 runs on the decoded model we have. Of course, the higher um, accuracy of our decoded model, the better performance of our attack. So we showed our uh, result on this table. And uh, so here, uh, the, the theta C star head is the, our decoded model. And uh, here we showed uh, this average train of local accuracy 
on of our decoded model on each of these fine clients. We compare it with the baseline model, and the baseline model actually consider here the tilt theta c is the last returned model. So instead of using the final global model as the baseline to compare with, here we use the last returned local model because the last returned local model contains more personal information. As it has it has uh, done multiple local gradient descent based on its own local data set. So we can see that the average performance um, of our decoded model uh, is outperforms, outperforms at least 10 to 20 percent than our baseline. And, um, and this attack is quite insensitive to the number of the local steps that use in, on, on each client. Last, we have conducted another experiment for the ALDA data set. This ALDA data set is the um, data set contains the information um, to, to predict if a certain uh, person has an income more than 50k dollars. So giving the information of this person, like the sex, like the age, like the education level and the family situation, etc. And um, so this is a binary classification problem. So we split this data among 10 clients in a non id way that only the first three clients are uh, the clients have the uh, uh, have the PhD degrees and from the different range of age and the rest of the seven clients uh, have the rest of the data uniformly. On the left, left I, I'd like to show is the mapping gradient function performance with respect to the batch size. We can see actually um, the mapping function uh, the first performance of the mapping function decreased as we increase the batch size, which makes sense because if we use higher batch size, there's less randomism um, in this local update rules. And we be, if we use smaller batch size, there's more randomism with, uh, there's more randomism involved in this local update rules on each client, so which makes the mapping function performs less. Uh, performs uh, worse. Okay. And here we can, sh uh, here we showed also the performance of our decoded model, which is presented by the solid line. And uh, we compare it with the uh, decoded, or with the baseline, which is presented by the dash line here. And uh, so the performance of the decoded model here, we show it for the three first clients. We can see that um, the performance of our decoded model um, actually outperforms the baseline and even for the test accuracy metric. And um, this performance is quite also insensitive to the batch size. So here I come uh, to the conclusion part. So in this work, we initialize the study of a new attack for factory learning which is the local model reconstruction attack. And our attack does not suffer from the numbing uh, with the large batch size and quite insensitive to the local steps. First, the previous attack, for example, the attack, the gradient inversion attack that I mentioned uh, to show the pictures that you can inform uh, and an uh, image. Um, actually, this attack is quite sensitive to the local steps and is quite sensitive to the batch size. And it works less efficient if you have a large batch size. And uh, besides, we also propose a heuristic for this attack to reconstruct more complex models. And uh, so in the future, we, we want to improve, of course, this heuristics. And, um, and also, we would like to make the connections between the attack and privacy preserving algorithms. Now we have a PhD student uh, working on this direction to try to uh, see actually how to make this attack um, in a more realistic case and how to build connections between the attack and the privacy preserving algorithm. So, thank you for your attention. So if you are interested in this work, we have some preliminary paper. Uh, we have a preliminary paper, which is a short one um, that you can find the link here. Thank you very much.